hello guys welcome to my youtube channel um i know that a lot of people have issues using sk so today i'll be showing you how to make use of sk firstly i'll be showing you how to regulate your sk this is the regulator So we have to regulate the the dial to the the dial to the zero point. If you are using your scale with with your scale without the the scale tray, this is the scale tray. If you are using your scale without the scale tray, you can fix your dial on the zero point. Let me take this off for a proper view. So now, this, this, this K, the regulator has regulated the dial to the zero point. And here we go. We'll be measuring like this. This short line here is 50. So, for example, you're measuring something and it's on this short line. It's going to be 50. Then when it's on this longer line... This longer line here is going to be 100. So we'll do it like this. This is 50. This is 100. This is 150. This is 200. This is 250. This is 300. This is uh, 350. This is 400. And this is 500. 500 which makes uh, a half of a kilo. Then if you measure down here, it's going to be 1 kg. Then you can move further if what you're measuring is more then if you want to measure uh, with your skate tray you have to regulate your dial backward outside the zero we're gonna do it like this or yeah outside the zero let's just yeah so now your skate tray is on and the dial is back to the zero so you can also start measuring like okay let me just fix this on okay this this is 50 100 150 200 250 300 so uh let me make you understand this properly the short line in here from the beginning is 50 this longer line is 100 makes it 100 the short line in here makes it 150. So this other longer line here make it uh make it 200. So this short line, this short line in here represents 50. So this longer line represents 100. So you can just count like this with the longer line: 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.